I don't know, I changed my mind and I decided to do one of the problems that was due today, another one with the terminal angle business so they could see a different one. Because I, I went, by the way, all the web assign problems I assign you, I do them all too. The one thing I hate is I hate Jillian Michaels telling me to do the exercises while she's standing there and yapping. I really hate that. Come and do the exercises with me, but don't tell me to do them and then you don't do them yourself. So I do them all. So I did this one and I thought, well, this is kind of different. You don't like that either, do you? Jill Michael's standing there, come on, I want everybody to move. I want everybody to do 10 more push-ups. And she keeps talking and talking and talking. And she never does the push-ups herself. And she forgets that you're doing push-ups and you're in pain. It's annoying. Do them yourself. So the same process. Remember, I'm not going to write out the steps this time. We got the X, we got the Y, plot the point, make the ray. This one's a little different, though, because they want you to consider that point as being on a circle. It's not a unit circle, but it's a circle with a different radius. So the first step is to find the radius of that circle. The radius has a formula. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So I take x squared. It's like the hypotenuse. So you take dx squared plus y squared, and it turns out I got that from that boxed information, the x and the y. And it turns out the r squared is 61. So the r is square root of 61. So that's how you find the radius. Hmm? It's not pretty? <laughs> it's not pretty, though. Yo, oh, you were doing the invert the denominator multiply? So if you're taking notes, I just uh, copied what I just wrote and put it on the next slide. So you see the r equals squared 61 is right there. Sure. Whoever's making me do that is good, is good right? Because I just, just drive on. See, do you see on the side I have a little strip there? If I was a sine squared and you were a cosine squared, together we would be one. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up soon. You can copy that strip and... <laughs> okay, here's the formula. Cosine t is equal to x divided by r, which I just got. And sine t is equal to y divided by r. So you plug and chug. Cosine t is negative 5 over square root of 61. Where did I get those two numbers from? The x value was negative 5. I just highlighted it. And the radius was square root of 61. I just highlighted it. And I plugged them into the formula. Sine t is 6 divided by square root of 61. Again, by plugging them in this, into the formula, they are highlighted in pink, so you see where I got them from. I believe they want you to get tangent t, too, as well. Tangent t is sine over cosine, or you can do x over uh, uh, y over x. It doesn't matter. Uh, copied and pasted, so I didn't lose anything. I just moved this up. So you're still looking at the same slide. Um, the, the sine was 6 over square root of 61. The cosine is minus 5 over square root of 61. What do you do when you have a fraction over a fraction? Invert the denominator, multiply. You're getting it. I, New Jersey is the most dense uh, state in the nation. Do you know that? We have too many people living here. So it's good to get your own space. So it's good to mumble that, actually. It feels good, right, to have your own space. You'll never see them again, too. I grew up in a town with 5,000 people. Everybody sees everybody again. And everybody knows everything about everyone else. So it's a very nice thing when you don't see that person ever again. And get away with stuff. Question? Yeah. You can use either one. It's like my uh, hairstyle. Sometimes I feel like straightening it. Sometimes I feel like wearing it curly. Sometimes I wear it in a ponytail. Today I felt like doing sine over cosine on this problem. And the previous one I felt like doing y over x. So it's whatever, whatever you want to do. 
minus six fifths. Um, since the that was high school math. <laughs> we don't have to do that here. Yeah, I don't. Um, it's good practice to do it, but um, you don't have to do that in college. I don't know, in the yeah, they're really bothered by the square roots being in the basement. In math, kind of like, um, yeah. Maybe we should tell them not to do that, and we should do that, tell them to do something else. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that important. And in fact, um, on WebAssign, if you put the square root in the denominator, it accepts it. Right, so you're, you're fine. Um, we got the radical 61 by finding, here's the work. So we first, we found the radius. The radius, so we consider that terminal point as being on a circle. So the radius of that circle is uh, found by taking x squared plus y squared. So you plug those numbers in, so I use the box information on top, plug those numbers in, that gives me r squared to get r to the square root. Okay, okay other questions? My New York giant back there is about to fall asleep. <laughs> she wants to look at her cell phone really bad. <laughs> yeah, no? Okay, good. <laughs> Keep going? I can't even go to the next one because it has all the same stuff on it. Not a cell phone junkie? How many of you guys are cell phone junkies like me? Like, see the green light, and you're like, woohoo. Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> okay, everybody caught up? <laughs> 